If you want to learn how to be a success in online classes, then this broadcast is for you. Uh, not only uh, do we enjoy bringing you all the high quality content for your viewing pleasure uh, regarding sports and battle of the bands and, and all these different type of uh, uh, events that we uh, uh, attend and uh, for your viewing pleasure, uh, you know, online classes can be uh, challenging, uh, but you know, there is a technique and strategy that you can use, you can implement, you can implement uh, in order to be a success. And that is what this particular broadcast is about, helping you pass your class and exceed in school. Now, there are going to be 21 points that I want to bring out, and hopefully this video is an hour and a half, and I'm going to try to keep it as condensed and compressed as possible. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, sharing with you uh, some vital tips uh, regarding what you can do uh, now that you happen to take this online class um, at home, uh, you know, this particular season uh, of the school year. Now, you want to, first of all, the most important thing, you want to ensure that you set a major goal. What is your goal? Don't ever lose focus of your goal. Uh, because that's going to keep the fire blazing within when it concerns uh, your motivation towards uh, achieving higher education. And a lot of times your motivation can wane and uh, just fall, you know, short, you know, regarding uh, what it was before uh, when you first started and you were excited about the class. And when you start uh, rocking and rolling and uh, these grades uh, is not up to par like how you want them to be, then your motivation can, you know, tends to fall down and, and, and you know, you can kind of lose uh, sight. Don't lose your focus regarding uh, setting a major goal um, because the goal will help you to achieve. The goal in mind would help you to uh, keep the fire blazing to achieve your goal. Now, online classes, you want to treat online classes and study uh, for your online classes like it is a job. You know, we tell our college uh, 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 children, uh, even today, as they pursue their higher education, um, you know, you want to treat it like it's a job. That is your job. I mean, when you treat it like a job, that means you, you, you show up on time, uh, you, 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 you give it all of your heart regarding your work day, uh, you make sure you pay attention to what the instructions are. And one of the biggest things, people, that we do not like to do as learners. We do not, at some point in time in our life, and even today, we do not like to take notes. That's one of the biggest things uh, when it concerns success. Taking notes, listening to what the professor is saying, to what the teacher is saying, and writing those notes down. So uh, when you treat it like a job, you will be motivated to uh, write notes and take good notes, not sloppy notes, and be well organized as well. All right, the third tip, make a study plan. What is your plan? Do you have a study plan? Yeah, you, I'm talking to you. Do you have a study plan regarding this online class? Or are you just coasting along? Don't coast, put that pedal to the metal and keep rocking it forward, full speed ahead. But you must have a study plan. What study plan are you putting in place? What time frames are you setting out throughout the course of the day in order to carve out time to learn what you need to learn? Because I'm sure you're taking more than one class because, uh, you know, as college students, that's usually what <laughs> you do. You take more than one class uh, or high school students. Um, but when you have multiple classes, you need a study plan. You need to learn how to uh, uh, shift and a maneuver and transition from one course to the next uh, in your studying uh, so everything doesn't bottleneck and uh, come to a big crash at the end because you don't know, you know, you're just all over the place. Uh, so ha having a good study plan will help uh, keep you from having to juggle the chainsaw, the bowling ball, and the blazing fire um, stick. And, uh, you know, and, 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 you know you, as you see uh, some people do in the entertainment world. Um, it keeps you well organized, having a good study plan. Manage time carefully. Are you managing your time? Now, one thing about uh, being in an online class is that you're at a computer. And what is one of the uh, biggest things that we like to do 
Uh, when we're at computers, we like to give a lot of attention to social media. And I'm not saying anything about social negative, about social media. That's not the issue. I enjoy social media as well. Uh, but you, got, you must learn how to manage your time uh, properly in order to be a success uh, in your online uh, classes. Have a dedicated study blocks. Uh, we did touch bases on that regarding, uh, you know, carving out time throughout the day. Uh, find a quiet place. Uh, that is vitally important when you find a quiet place of study uh, to make sure that everything is, uh, you know, uh, the, the area is conducive for you to learn. Uh, eliminate distractions. Um, that means you must turn your phone off. Stop answering all of those uh, notifications that come to your phone from uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, put it aside and, and, and eliminate that distraction so you can learn uh, in class. Uh, limit social media. We did touch bases on that. Uh, we did touch bases on that. Uh, thank you. Uh, use online resources. That's vitally important. And I'm just skimming through this. So this is an hour and a half video. Uh, break down each task. Uh, you know, that is another technique that you can do. Have a calendar uh, to help you accomplish each day uh, what you want to accomplish and achieve your goals. Uh, be mentally engaged. Uh, when you mentally engage, uh, that means that your attention is fully where it needs to be so you can uh, perform at the highest level and learn at the uh, highest level. Take notes. We did touch bases on that. Uh, take notes. Online students. That's vitally important. Uh, browse intelligently. That means go through, uh, you have the whole world at your fingertips. And, you know, when you're researching certain events, um, you know, you want to ensure that you're browsing intelligently and not copywriting or doing plagiarism as either. OK, so when you browse, you get the content that you're looking for and uh, you skim from it and put it in your own words uh, to help you uh, do what you need to do for that particular class. Uh, make study enjoyable. You know, that is big. Take time to break and enjoy your life and then get back to the grind. All right. Take breaks. That's very important. I did mention that. That's number 15. Uh, stay healthy. Eat healthy. You are, you are what you eat. So you, if you're eating junk food, uh, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to um, uh, cause a reaction in your body. And not only that, in your thinking. So you want to make sure you're um, ingesting the right type of foods, the right, the right type of uh, hydration, water, uh, vegetables, fruits. Uh, enjoy it and stay healthy. Uh, number 17, connect with others. Uh, you learn better. Some people learn better when they connect with others. It depends on what your learning style is, uh, but that's very important when you connect with others uh, regarding uh, education. Uh, join a study team. That's part of connecting with others. Uh, that's 18. Ask questions. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes that I made in the classroom is when the teacher said, does anyone have any questions? I kept my hand down. So did everybody else. So at the end of the class, everybody stood up and bum rushed the teacher. And the teacher said, wait a minute. I, I just asked you all, did you have any questions? But no one said anything. Hey, listen, we have to pick this up next time. Right now, let me do something right quick. Yeah, right now, um, someone's outside doing some a maintenance on my vehicle and I am truly grateful for that uh, but they said next time we just have to pick this up and and, and so forth and so on and uh, so all the students have to wait till next time so be sure to ask questions that's vitally important I cannot stress uh, that enough uh, beat the uh, time frames when projects and class and school work is due you want to make sure you beat that time frame uh, don't wait to the last minute. I've had issues uh, in my educational career, waited to the last minute, and then sometimes didn't do any study until the night before the test. And I know none of you out there have ever experienced that, and I'm the only person on the planet that has ever done that, okay? Um, not. I'm sure you have too at some point in your study, uh, in your education. So be sure to, when the projects, my advice is when the project or assignment is given, be sure to start it now. Don't wait. Don't wait till later. Do it now. Do it now quickly and swiftly. Get it over with so you'll be ahead of, of the uh, educational game. So when it's time for you to turn in that work, 
is on time. When it's time for you to take that major exam, you already accumulated the knowledge, you've been studying, you've been going at it, you've been setting and doing time management, all these different type things. And now uh, you're making the grade, which is a very good grade, an A a grade. Reward yourself. You work hard, reward yourself. Uh, a lot of studying without any reward is, you know, that's, 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 that's not good. Uh, so you want to reward yourself and treat yourself and not only treat yourself, but treat yourself big because you deserve it, right? All right, well, there you have it. 21 tips regarding online classes and hopefully you learned something today. And uh, thanks for watching this broadcast. Be sure to subscribe uh, to our channel because we really enjoy uh, creating these educational content uh, for your viewing pleasure. And uh, we want to make sure that you receive what you need and to learn about what you need to learn uh, in this life to help you become a better you. Well, that concludes it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.